Kia ora koutou. my name is Robbie Lenores and I'm a born and bred Chatham Islander and we're going to be making a series of videos showcasing the Chathams and all the hot spots we've got on offer. If you ever get down to the Chatham Islands you've got to come down to the basalt columns. These rocks are just absolutely phenomenal. The formations are just unreal, hand carved for the gods themselves. So this is the Thomas Carroll. Uh, she was a minesweeper after World War I and now she's strategically parked in Port Hutt. When you come to the Chathams you've definitely got to come and check out the Stony Cottage and the Roosters. This place was built in 1866 and it was built by German missionaries and they used all the stone from the hill in the background. Just walking through Nikau Bush, beautiful bush walk on the Chatham Islands. It's actually really windy today but inside in the forest it's just still and really calm and then if you can see up on the palm trees they've got this lichen and it's usually lime green but when it when it turns red or orange it means the oxygen levels are really really high which means you've got the freshest air. So we're just heading to the seal colony. It's out by Kangaroo on the northeastern tip of the island. Uh, the landscape here is just phenomenal. It's like being on a different planet. It's unbelievable. Just out of Hapupu, in the bush, uh, looking for some Moriori tree carvings. Uh, it's a really windy day out there and inside the bush is just so calm and peaceful. If I was a Moriori back in the day, I would have definitely been hanging out here, carving on trees as well. Welcome to Oinga. This is the second biggest township on the Chatham Islands. It's in the southeastern corner and this is the uh, CBD. So we're just about to catch the Cessna. We're on our way to Pitt Island to take some photos. It's a bit of a hike, but we made it. This is the most eastern point in New Zealand, in the world. Any more east, you'd be west. 